Hello friends, I'm Meghna Thomas and welcome back to our channel Golden Eplets Aviation Pilot Training Academy your route to the cockpit. If you have been following our channel Golden Applets, I'm sure you all are aware that for our past few videos, we have been solving some question papers that can be expected for your cadet pilot program written examination. We have already covered the papers in maths and English. Now we are left with physics. I hope you like our videos and I hope they will be helpful to you. We have not done many questions. Basically, our aim was to just give you an idea of what are the kind of questions that you can expect for a complete tutorial or for learning you can always come to golden applets we have the best set of instructors over here who will train you in the right manner for you to prepare you for the written examinations so without wasting any time let's quickly see what are the topics that are usually asked in physics they are statics and dynamics laws of linear and circular motion work energy and power machines thermodynamics electronic devices heat sound electrostatics magnetism, electromagnetic waves, wave optics, light, radiation, gravitation, gas laws, oscillation, elasticity and mechanical properties of fluids and solids. Well that seems quite a lot to study and brush up but don't lose heart. We have with us a set of question papers which has questions that come from all these areas. It's a mixed set of papers so we're not going topic wise because that will be a lot to cover and we will be wasting a lot of time on that. However, we have taken out for you a few question papers which we would be solving with you. You can follow us on the same and we hope that this will really help you to understand basically what exactly happens in the physics question papers. So if you guys are ready, let's quickly jump on to the question paper. So this that you see is the question paper. There are a set of 60 questions in this paper we have already solved them I am just going to take you through the question and the answers of the same so let's get started the first question is pressure is exerted in a box as you can see this is the pressure the arrows show the pressure that is exerted in the box the answer for this is in the same direction is it greater at the bottom is it greater at the top or is it greater at the sides the correct answer is the pressure is exerted in same in all directions so a is correct we've already ticked it here now coming to the second one a diode is always painted black has a high voltage with alternating current allows current to flow in one direction is made from high quality low resistance oxygen free copper well the answer that uh, suits the uh, question is a diode allows current to flow in one direction only the next question power is measured in well this is very easy it is measured in watts so this is the right answer d now number five a magnet is moving towards a coil of wire and a galvanometer shows that current is flowing the current can be made greater in the following three ways use more turns of wire a bigger magnet and move the magnet faster use more turns of wire a stronger magnet and move the magnet faster well this is the right answer we're not going to the other options you need a stronger magnet and yes more turns of wire would increase the magnetic field so the current would be more which means use of more turns of wire and uh, the strong magnet that is B is the right answer. Now the next question, when a car is driving up a hill, there is a friction between the tires and road. In which direction does friction occur in this case? Generally, the uh, friction is in the opposite direction. So uh, the option is in the opposite direction to which the car is traveling. It is usually in the opposite direction. Now question number seven, an example of magnetic element is, uh, you have to give an example of magnetic element the options are iron copper purified and drawn oxygen free copper or carbon dioxide well the answer is iron so a is the correct option the eighth question the arrows that are shown in the picture of magnetic field always point from east to west always point from west to east uh, north to south or south to north well uh, the magnets point in north to south direction so yes c is the right answer the next question is where is the belt of asteroids the options are between mercury and sun between mars and jupiter between neptune and pluto and between earth and mars so the belt of asteroids is between mars and jupiter so b is the right answer question number 10 current is measured in the current is measured in amperes so this is amps and that's the right answer coming to the 11th question which is the planet closest to the sun well this is the easiest it's mercury however we all remember this that we learned in school haven't we my very educated mother just showed us nine planets but now Pluto doesn't, I mean, it doesn't consider it as a planet anymore. So this is Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune. 
and the um, closest planet is Mercury. Coming to the next question, James is running on the beach with his dad. James has a mass of 40 kilos and is running at 1 meter per second. What is his kinetic energy? Well, the kinetic energy formula is half mv square. So his mass is given as 40 kg, the velocity is 1. So what you have to do is just substitute in the formula half m into v square is 1, so that will be 1, which is 20. So your answer is 20 joules. And that is the right answer, C. Coming to the 13th question, Newton's second law states, force is equal to mass into acceleration which of these statements are true as the force increases acceleration increases and the force and acceleration are always the same well it will be because it is directly proportional and not inversely proportional so if the force increases the acceleration will also increase and c is the right answer now let's go to the 14th question fill in the blank a star forms when very hot gases compress at this temperature dash occur releasing energy to keep the star hot so the, the reaction that occurs is a nuclear fusion reactions and this keeps the star hot so that's the right answer number 15 which equation connects charge current and time well this is the equation that is for charge current and time q is equal to i into t that is current and time and this is charge the uh, the symbol for charge is q I is for current and T is for time. So Q is equal to IT is the equation. The next question, uh, so when the generator is turned faster, it has a bigger voltage and a bigger frequency. So we're not looking at anything else. Option C is the right answer. The last one, what is geothermal energy? So geothermal energy is the energy that is generally generated and stored in the earth. So here it is, geothermal. Geothermal is based because of the earth. So yes, this is the right answer. A is the correct answer. So we have successfully solved one question paper. So this was one type of question paper that you can expect for your physics written examination. Well, these questions seemed a little easy, but the difficulty level of these questions need not be the same. You might or you can expect questions that are much more difficult. In my next video, I'm going to solve another paper for the physics written examination. If you have any queries or any doubts, out, please feel free to leave us a comment or you can contact us on the contact details mentioned below. Keep loving our channel and keep following us for more such updates and videos. Come let's fly!